Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is gonna be a really chatty one, talking all about how to get clients as a freelance graphic designer. So do you struggle to consistently book those clients or are you a new designer wanting to grab your first client? Well, in this video, I'm gonna go over exactly how you can do this and how I managed to do this too. So I have been a brand designer for the past five years and I started my own business back in 2020. Now I have been able to consistently book out months in advance with clients. I've done a lot of design videos on here but I haven't really spoken that much about my business and one of the most asked questions I get is how do you get your clients? So before I get into this video I do just want to say that everything I talk about is from my experience and something that works for me isn't gonna work for everyone. So if you are a new designer and you're wanting to attract your first client, I cannot recommend this step enough. So you need to be creating fake projects that I like to call passion projects to get work in your portfolio and hopefully attract those potential clients. You can also tailor these fake projects to specific niches and specific businesses that you want to attract. So for example, I use this YouTube channel as a way of creating my own passion projects. So you will watch design process Processes and me creating brands from scratch, I then take these brands, add them to my social media and my website and use them in my portfolio. In fact, I have had dozens of businesses watch my YouTube videos of me creating brands from scratch and then reach out to me wanting to work with me after seeing what I can create, seeing my process and knowing what I can do for their business. Then, once you have some designs in your portfolio and feel a lot more confident with the design process, you can then start working working with real people. I would recommend working with friends and family, so people that you feel comfortable with, and you can even offer them a discount for your services for the first few projects that you do. So working with people that you feel a lot more comfortable with at the start will help you get your foot in your door, gain some experience with working with real life people, and hopefully you can add these projects to your portfolio. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is referrals. So once you get your foot in the door and work with those clients, make sure you are building long lasting relationships with them because this may lead to more referrals for you in the future, meaning potential work for you. Just think about those times where your friends have referred things like products or services to you, and then it's put that thought in your head that you need that service or you need that product too. This is exactly the same when you work with other people. If you create a really good service and you produce a really good product, you are gonna be referred by more and more people and then that is when you're gonna build up a following, build up an audience and build up those clients. So a fair few of my previous clients have been from referrals from other previous clients. So once I finished up with a client, they may go on to tell other businesses and other people exactly where they got their branding done and then they came to inquire with me and then I've gone on to work with them from this referral. You can even create some sort of referral scheme to past clients. So if they refer you, they may get an incentive or something for free from you. Just remember, it's all about building a really nice service, a long lasting relationship with your client and I've always found that going above and beyond for clients can really really help you in the long run. So next I want to talk about the tip that has honestly helped me gain all of my clients. So I'm going to talk about social media platforms. Make sure you are utilizing at least two social media platforms. I like to use Instagram and YouTube as my two main sources and then you will also find me on TikTok and Pinterest too. So I like to use my Instagram profile as a portfolio for myself. So I will share behind the scenes, my branding work, business tips, design tips, and anything else that I like to share. So normally I find once I post branding projects and design work, this is when I get the most inquiries because potential clients and businesses will see exactly what you have done for other businesses, then reach out to you wanting to work with you because of that design. So with social media, the biggest tip I have for you for attracting those potential clients is being consistent. Be consistent with showing up, consistent with posting, and consistent with engaging with other businesses. So if you are consistent with showing up and putting your work out there, I found that this builds a lot more trust within your business. So for example, if a business has been following you for a while, they see you consistently and constantly 
posting, showing up, and just showing exactly what you can do, they are more likely to work with you than say someone that just shows up once a month on social media. I've also found in my inquiry form when I ask why they want to work with me, a lot of businesses have said that they already trust me because I'm consistent, I show up, and they know that what they're gonna get is gonna be good because my presence is always there, so they have the feeling of trust already, which is exactly what we want for attracting those potential clients. So another tip within this is make sure that you are engaging with those potential clients follow businesses that you want to attract. And this goes back to creating passion projects as well. So if you are creating passion projects, make sure that you are putting them out on your social media, following businesses around this niche, and then hopefully if they do engage with you back, they will see the potential work that you can do for their business. So you can also do a paid advertisement as well. So through Instagram and Facebook, you can target specific businesses and a specific niche that you want to attract. So I did this at the very start when I started my business to grow a more of an audience, attract those potential clients, and it did work. It got my foot in the door, it attracted those businesses that I really wanted to work with, engaged with them, and then they inquired with me. So I said at the start that make sure that you are utilizing two or more platforms. I like to use this method because if you are just using one right now, it can be quite dangerous because if anything happens to that one platform, and this is where you gain most of your clients, then imagine if that platform goes down and you lose your business. So make sure that you are always utilizing two or more platforms so if something happens, you're safe. So next thing I wanna talk about is niching down. So this means that you specialize in a specific segment within the market. So there are two ways that you can go about this. So one, you can niche down with specific businesses that you work with, or two, you can niche down in your design style. So I would say my niche is my design style because I work with an array of businesses, but I do niche down to specifically working with female-led businesses that want more of an energetic style. So if you are a bit all over the place with your work and who you want to work with and what design style you have, I can find this being quite inconsistent and specific businesses will pick you because of your specific style or because you work with a specific industry so just finding little things to niche down in it can be really really beneficial it also means that you as a designer will feel happier when working with these types of businesses or in your specific design style because you will be producing work that you really really love and you want to work on there's nothing worse than working on a different design style than what you normally do or working with a business that you wouldn't really normally work with and you aren't familiar with so niche down, try and find something that's a little quirky, a little bit of you, and hopefully this will attract those potential clients. Okay, so last but not least is reaching out to specific businesses that you have done some research on and you feel like their branding or design really needs the help of a designer. So this is something that I never normally do and I don't need to do now, but at the start, I would maybe reach out to some local businesses to see if they would need my services and if they needed any help with design. So what I would suggest doing is research some businesses, either local to you or ones that you have found on Instagram that really need some some help to keep on brand, stay cohesive, or even need a branding overhaul. So once you have done this, try and find their email, the best way to contact them. I would suggest putting an email template together, which has your portfolio, some questions that you have answered, and really showcasing exactly what you can do for their business. Then send the email and see if this method works for you. So I think with all of these tips that I have mentioned, the best thing that you can truly do is just try absolutely everything and just see exactly what works for you and your business and then you can whittle this process down and then carry on using things that work and get rid of things that doesn't. So some things that work for me may not work for you and some things that work for you may not work for me. It's kind of a bit of trial and error at the start and then hopefully once you figure out where you are attracting clients from, you can keep streamlining that process until it is perfect. So I hope this video has been really helpful if you are a new designer wanting to get clients or if you are an existing designer struggling to get those clients. So if you want to see more of me and how I run my business, head over to my Instagram page because I show a lot and I mean a lot of behind the scenes. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and even hit that subscribe button too.